Hey everyone, Pastor Glenn here with Holy Fire National Church. We are in our church family room, and this is Sunday morning. What's the date, someone? 11th of October. October 11th at about 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, one of the things that we want to encourage everyone, God has a message not only for America, but for the churches across this country. One of the things that is going to happen is the Lord is going to confuse Joe Biden. Now, I know everyone's like, he's been doing that already. But the enemy, Satan, and people who are against God are only going to get away with things for a certain period of time. And God has to allow that. He's got to allow people to express themselves for who they are. And once that happens, it gives the church an understanding, an idea where to pray and how to pray. And really let everyone who is in this country see really how bad it is getting. So the frustration that is going to happen also, not only through Joe Biden, is going to take place at the voting election time. And I'm going to tell you what's going to, what's going to take place. President Trump is going to win. The election is already secured because God the Father in heaven is in charge of who gets in office in America. Especially with people that have been pounding the throne room and asking the Lord to have mercy upon our country and bring righteousness back to this country. What will also take place on November 3rd for this election, the Democrats are not going to come out. They're not going to come out and vote like they're expecting them to. And you know why? The fear of getting COVID. So the very thing that they're trying to push with all the masks and all the fear and everything that's, that, that's happening across this country... It's going to backfire on them, and they're not going to see the voter turnout, and it's going to be a, a complete devastation when we start looking at counting all these ballots from the mail and stuff. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to be eliminated, and another piece of this, fourth piece of this uh, puzzle is it's going to go long and arguing past November 3rd on really who won it. President Trump has won it, and we can give him congratulations for another four years. Of presidency in this country. In Jesus' name, everyone said amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus.